I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for sakes he became poor, and we through his poverty might be rich. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for iniquities, chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes on him. All we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned everyone to his own way, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. Once more I want to say a pleasant afternoon to you all, and I just want to take this opportunity and welcome you to the Thanksgiving service for the life of Irana Palmer. Hope I get it right. All right, we're going to turn to our programs now. We're going to sing the hymn, The Lord's my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastor's green, he leadeth me. The quiet waters by. Could someone raise it for us, please? again afternoon. Heavenly Father, I want to present this thanks service into your hands. We ask you to bless what's in the mission of God. But we ask to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Are you ready to see the please? We're now going to be having the first lesson. Genesis 1, 1 to 20 to be read by Odin Barrett, followed by tribute from Rene Robin. So we move in that order.
me hear you praise the Lord again. Lord. Hallelujah. Let me see for one. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together in one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and he gathered together of the waters all these seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself, after his time, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be and let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day, twentieth and last. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly moving creature that has life, and full that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. I just only want to say, when you're going home tonight, read over about this first scripture, and go into the description. Everything belongs to God. The whole entire earth belongs to the Lord God Almighty. So whatever takes place in our lives, He already knew about it. He is a just God and full of vengeance and war. Today's saints are everybody. I just want to say, whosoever is not saved gets saved. Whosoever is backslidden, return back to the Lord. I'm asking that you pray for me in the name of Jesus and my family. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. His heart was broken. Man was mended. He became sin. No, I plead the cross he carried for my burden. The nails that held him set me free. His life for mine. His life for Love. 
His cause of suffering brought me healing. He spilled his blood to feed my soul. His crown of thorns made me royalty. His sorrow gave me joy. from Psalms 24 to be read by Susie Rose followed by that selection from Troy Richards we're moving that forward Do you see, do you care all about what 
I'm going through. But that's when he says, one more day, he says, one more step. Says, I'll prepare with you, yeah, yeah, for myself. And when you can't hear my voice, please trust my plan. I am the Lord I see, and yes, I understand. Sometimes I feel like I'm all alone, like I'm just like a stranger, so far from home. But Lord, if you hear me, I'm calling you. Do you see? Do you hear? All about what I'm going through, yeah, yeah. But that's what he says. One more day, he says. One more step, cause I'm prepared with you, my child, for myself. And when you can't hear his voice, please trust his friend. He is the Lord. He sees and yes, he understands. Yeah. Cause he knows just how much you can bear. Whoa. And in the time of trouble, he promised he'll always be there. Oh, he understands. Oh, my child, he understands. He is the Lord, he sees, and yes, he understands. He knows just how much you can bear. And in the time of the struggle, he promised to always be there. He My Lord, he understands. He is the Lord. He sees and yes, he understands. He is the Lord. He sees and yes, he understands. That's why he says. Why, oh, why? This too shall pass. Oh, after why? Your scars will heal. You left the king. It won't hurt you after a while. Oh, it won't hurt you after a opening tributes and then after that we'll have a selection from Damian Pinnock. We're moving that order there. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, 
I must first say condolences to the family, friends, and relatives. If you give a little more than you take, and if you try to fix all that you break, mm -hmm. if you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain, there's a place, yes, for people like you. If you stand up for those down on their knees, I'll lend a voice to those who cannot speak. And if you shine a little light, give sight to the ones who lost their ways. There's a place, come on, sing it, for people like you. If you know the chorus, let's sing. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. Mm -hmm. And when you get there, there is a hand to hold. And I believe when you days down here I prove there's a place up there for people like you. Even though the second verse sing it. If you walk around with your heart on your sleeves. Or trying to be the change you wanna see. Mm -hmm. Would you lay down your life for love so someone could be saved? There's a place for people like you. Let's raise the chorus and sing. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. Mm, yes. And when you get there, there is a hand to hold. And I believe when you taste down here I'm through, there's a place up there for people like you. Sing the chorus one more time. I've heard up there the streets are made of gold. Yeah, yes. And when you get there, there is a hand to hold. I Yes, there's a place up there for people like you. Mm, yes. I know you're out there, so keep doing what you do. Mm, there's a place out there for people like you. May his soul rest in peace. Sound. 
sound the same. We'll join in on those harmony parts. When I call your name, come on, let's do this. You can make all friends. You can make all friends. It was you and me since way back when. But you can make all friends. Because when St. Peter opens the gate, come on, and you come walking in. Oh, I'll be there just waiting for you because you can make old friends. You can make old friends. When I'm out on the stage all alone and I hear the music begins. Whoa, we all know the show must go on, but you can old friends. Thank you so much. Rest and sleep on in mighty peace, my beloved brother. Thank you. And this time we're going to be asking Odie Barrett and Marcia Fisher to come forward with the remembrance followed by a selection from Miss S. Ricketts. We move in that order.
Come on, let's not put our hands together for our Mr. Fitz again. Those of us who are here, we may not understand what she is going through. Mr. So Fitz, condolences to you on behalf of my family for losing your mom. It's not easy. And we're happy to have staff of the Guardi's Funeral Home participating. It's a good sign. Directly in this Thanksgiving service. That was Miss Ricketts, and now we have Miss T. Lincoln will come forward with the eulogy, followed by a selection from Latoya McGregor. We're moving that forward. Mercy walks in 
and pleaded my case. Called you to stay. God said, in grace, the blood was presented and covered my sin. Forgiven when mercy walks in. I stood there and wonder how good these people. Someone so guilty has just been set free. My chains were broken. I fell by again. That moment when mercy walks in. Mercy walked in and pleaded my case. Called you that saving grace the blood was presented and covered my sin forgiven when mercy walks in mercy walks in and pity Of righteousness. 
family members, trust me on this one. God could have prevented your brother from dying. But he allowed him to die because he wants to save somebody here this afternoon. Praise the Lord. As I was visiting in my community some years ago, I remember I stopped by a bar. It's not in existence again, Sister Ricketts. But in the bar, some folks, and I said to a gentleman, God is calling you. He laughed. He think it was a joke. I invited him to church. That weekend as I sat in church, my brothers and sisters, I was on the pulpit. My eyes were centered on the entrance. And as I as time progressed, he never came. At one time I came up church. And I looked down the road. He never came up. But praise the Lord. Couple weeks ago, he was in church. Not by his choice. What an afternoon when he should have been in church. He sat in a room bar, had an heart attack, and he died instantaneously. And a couple weeks after, I stood at his graveside, pronounced in the words, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, leaving everything in the hands of Almighty God. Brothers and sisters, time is running out. We are living in a grand and awful time. So many things are happening. And I can say to somebody this afternoon that even right now, Jesus stands in heaven. He stands on the right hand of God. He stands as in the center. Interceding on our behalf, my brothers and sisters, if we read the book of Hebrews, it presents Jesus Christ as our great high priest. He is now making intercessions on our behalf, brothers and sisters. Some 2,000 years ago, he came to this earth as Savior of the world, when he shed his blood on Calvary's cross to die for Adam's fallen ways. My brothers and sisters, he sacrificed his life. He died and he triumphantly arose from the dead. He is not in the grave anymore. He is risen, my brothers and sisters. He has been translated. He now stands in heaven as man's intercessor. He now has on his military environments. But even as I speak right now, my brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ, who is in heaven, he is about to throw down his territorial government. No longer to be man's intercessor, no longer to be man's high priest. I've come by Tyler's chapel today with a burden on my heart to tell somebody that time is running out for life is uncertain. But let it show before Because if you want to believe it or not, my brothers and sisters, it will 
will not change the fact as the apostle declares to that will come, will come, and will not tarry. Not long from now, my brothers and sisters, the preaching of the gospel will be over. Not long from now, the final sermon will be preached. Not long from now, the final spiel will be extended. Not long from now, the final individual will accept Jesus. And then the door of mercy shall close. I ask us a question in the dying moment of this service. How is it with us and the Savior? There are many of us, my brothers and sisters, you want to point out this in the face of God. But I believe, my brothers and sisters, based on the authority of God's word, it won't be long. But not long from now, Jesus will come. The Apostle Paul tells us that the trumpet shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise, and those of us who are alive in the shall be Nevermore to be separated in the dying moments of this Thanksgiving service. Christ is saying to somebody here, Give me your heart, and I will give you my father's kingdom. You ever heard it? The room finally have most mosquitoes. You think it is cool, please. Oh, my brothers and sisters, the coming of Jesus. It is not a fairy tale. It is going to be a reality. Yes. When he comes, my brothers and sisters, yes, my wish for each of us, that if we die, then when the trumpet of God shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise. And those of us who are alive and remain, that the words of the prophet Isaiah will be fulfilled as we should stand with our hearts and hands lifted heavenward, declaring, Lord, this is our God. We have long waited for him. Yes. And who yes, will save us? Wonderful. Life is uncertain. Yes. Death is sure. Before you die, my friend, seek the Lord. A word to the wise is sufficient. God bless you all. This time I ask the members of the Reef family to remain seated. And the rest of us will stand for this special prayer. Almighty God, the one who spoke and it was done, the one who commanded and it stood fast, your humble servant, stand here today, this afternoon, in Dylas Chapel to lift up the family members who have lost their loved ones so tragically. They have cried a lot. Oh, the who shall one day dry up all tears come by Dylas Chapel today. Draw close to the family members and point them to that day when there will be no more tears. But it will be peace and joy for more. Because they have lost their loved one. There is a void. There is an emptiness. The hearts are broken. Oh, thou who shall one day mend broken hearts. Come by and mend these broken hearts. I place them under your wings. For I recognize that under your wings we shall safely abide. Those who of the family members and the rest of us who have accepted Jesus as our Savior, I commend them. But to those who are still lingering and halting between two opinions, dear Lord, I pray you will work on their hearts. Amen. You will not ease them up, oh, yes. but you will visit them day and night, even in their sleep, until they cry out, I heal, I heal, I heal. Oh, yes. Many of us, as Bible peeping people, we're tired of this world. We're tired of sin and suffering. We want to go home. But until that day, continue to keep us under the heart of your palm. For we act it all in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Amen. We are going to be standing now. We are going to be singing the hymn. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot that was taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. We are going to sing the first stanza. And as we sing the chorus, I invite the Paul Pierce to come forward. Could someone raise him for us, please? When peace like a river. When peace like a river attended my way.
normal program da.
Resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Almighty God, in his infinite love and mercy, the Lord, our dear brother, our Father, speak. At this moment, the good devil will come into his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. And we now leave everything in the hands of God, when the pieces of life are being set. Work in your time. Where fly? Where fly? We shall sing on that beautiful Here we go. We shall sing on that beautiful day. Here we go. 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 Here we Oh, 
And the blessing that God already. And the blessing that God already. In the sweet fire of God. In the sweet fire of God. We shall meet on the beautiful shore. In the sweet fire of God. We shall meet on the beautiful shore. I don't want to call some courses. I'm going to Sugar, X2, sugar, X2, sugar, sugar, X2, sugar, sugar, X2, sugar, 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 You can't ask your favor, man. You can't ask your favor. You can't send one to five, sir. You're going to put on YouTube? I still have the end. You'll be on YouTube. Let me know how you can find it, yeah? No more, no more. You're sending to me to save it. I don't want to go on. Yeah, 
Some more pikey. All right, friends. I'm going to ask you to bow your heads with me, please. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, rest you and abide us all. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. The family would like to acknowledge with deep appreciation the many expressions of love and kindness shown by all. The thoughtful gesture will always be cherished. God bless you. Thank you. And God bless you.
Right here, right here. 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 Right Say, can I send something to the phone? Can I send something to the phone? Can I send something to the phone? Can I You ask your right team name. Yo, one thing with me, man, I like. Beautiful evening, man. Yes, some people are going to want to take a shower with and they're going to deserve the people's way. They better than nobody else to do it because they just have to take the people the money and they're going to get the money. They're going to get the money.